focus here. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be installing the diffuser over here that a lot of people have. Watch your back. <laughs> and then, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, so people have issues installing this, but I'll show you guys today again how easy it is to install this. I mean, look, make it look easy, but yeah, let's, let's uh, go for it because we're gonna remove the sides, the plastic trim tools. And uh, I'm gonna start off by removing the plastic clips down here. All right, that's the clips right here. We're gonna remove this clip. We're gonna remove uh, this clip as well. So two clips here, and uh, the screw over here on the side, very right end. We we'll remove that as well. Make sure you guys uh, use uh, safety glasses if you have, so the dirt doesn't go inside your eyes. So I just kind of point my eyes downward so nothing comes into it. And now I'll grab the screw. Driver, remove the screw here. Are you glad I don't hit that car, bro? That's the best Do it. That screw comes out. I like this part. It's good. We'll do the same thing on the other side and put the screw like into a piece. So I'm just gonna put it on a cardboard so it doesn't fly away. I don't want to lose it. You know what? Give me a tough time. I'll put it in the trunk. Yeah. Gotta show people how to install that. Two clips removed. And the screw. <laughs> Alright, so the screw comes out. That's it. Like this is the hard part. Is he? Yeah. The gray ones for the uh, diffuser? We don't need it. We don't need it, right? Nope. Yeah, we don't need those. Oh, well, it's an optional piece. Yeah. Now we'll remove this piece right here. You can easily take it off by pulling on the, the way to remove the two clips from. Because then it's to take out just like that. Wiggle up and down and pull. Just like that. And you're going to transfer this piece, this, uh, this piece onto the other piece that's going to go here. There you go. Once you have one out, we go up and down because some clips are top, one is down. See? One is top, one is bottom. So the, this one's going to be on top. See? The next one's going to be in the bottom. See? Just like that. So that's why I move up and down and I pull. So it comes out easily. That's it. The side's out. Same thing on this side. <laughs> Pops right out. I'm gonna transfer that piece. And now what we're gonna do is um, put that diffuser on first and run the wire up here because we gotta take this tail light off. Uh, we gotta pry this open. So usually I, I, I attack that from here since the clips are here. But that should get a little bit bigger. Remove this seal a little bit so you have more space to work with. I'm gonna get a bigger a pry tool. All right, so you get it with the bigger pry tool. You can find this on my website. I'll put the link in the description below to support me. Thank you, appreciate it. So I kind of put it in there and twisted it that way so it kind of opens that spot. And then the bottom one, you just kind of wiggle this this way towards me and wiggle it comes right off. And we got eight millimeter bolts. Remove it from the drill. Make sure you guys place them on top, like in a way of this way, so I know the top one's for top, the bottom one's for bottom, so I don't mess up the threads. They're very fragile. Um, I'd rather remove the tail light yet, but I'm gonna use my magnetic extension tool to get the wire from bottom up here. If you come here, you can see the ground. This is where I'm gonna run the wire from. 
So if you bring the camera a little bit more. Right there. So you can see the ground right there. With my feet. That's the problem with Japanese, right? Japanese cars. There it is. So that's where I'm going to get it from. So here's a trick that I do. Magnetic extension tool I got. So I use this to kind of go from the bottom to the top like I showed you earlier. So I'm a, that's why I had to go to Home Depot and get this laser. Just like that. Bring the wire up without removing the bumper. This is how I got it. I'll show you. So bring the wire up. And I got plenty of it for now, so I just keep it there. And uh, just put some tape there so it doesn't go back down. Then I gotta catch it back up, and you don't want that either. So, next up, putting the diffuser in. So, the way I start this off is get in the middle and push one side inwards because we won't need these clips anymore. This is a used diffuser, not that used, but a little bit, so we gotta remove the old stuff. Real quick. So to make your life easy, you want to put one of the side already in by sliding it in there. So this way you're not having a hard time. Pull this down a little bit and slide this side in there. That's the only piece. Let me just remove that clip because I feel like it's probably in my way. We don't need this clip from the previous owner. So, let's see. Should go in just like that. And then once you reach up to the center, that's in. So once you reach the center, you can have somebody hold this side, um, like from here to here, or just hold it from here with one hand. And um, actually, Warren, can you hold that thing? Yeah. And you can come on this side so you can get that angle. Just hold this thing, that's it. The only reason we're holding that side in is because we have to bend this down and fit this in. Because if you, if you go to a shop and stuff, they're gonna be like, oh, you gotta cut it off, it doesn't fit, take it back. I've heard it all but this is the trick to doing it so once that side is held by somebody uh you could pull this down a little bit and bend this outward so you can get this in there easily it takes a little bit of moving around here and there oh, so that's fine a little bit a little it's got to come on here so well, so you can let you can let that part out a little bit. That's okay. This piece has to go right above it and come back down. So now it's just gotta come down. Doesn't have to be cut or anything. So you can see that spot over there. That's what's blocking it. That's what you gotta come. This flat piece of the diffuser has to go under this piece. That's what's blocking it. And once it goes down, you're good to go. See, it was passed through underneath, and now it lines you know, up. It's because they didn't fucking, uh, they didn't lock it. Uh, Just so click it in, make sure it's good. So That's in there. Supplied, They're all in, like this side. So, look at this but still, yeah, show sure them. Still, what, day, oh. All right, so, yeah, now on the bottom, you're going to have four, yeah, and then four then tabs. You're going to push those four tabs yeah. back in, yeah. which the diffuser had. We had a customer too. Alright, so come down real quick. 
Oh, you So these tabs, you have to like push it up. You're gonna like push it up there, line up with the hole, and you're gonna push the, put the tabs in. Pretty much, all right? And just like that, you just kind of line it up, put the thing through it. <laughs> there you go line these up now remember we got to remove that the stock one from here push this diffuser up and then put it right back through so putting this piece in now transferred for the screw to put back on and this one got two clips and we also slide this piece in here on this edge first all the way and then that should line up and then you could literally click that right in and then the screw when we removed it from the corner we're gonna put the screws back on that's how simple this side was all right and that should make this thing tight to like that all right pop this tail light by just smacking it towards the outside pops right open you got a clip over here and just push the tab in with my finger and pop right out kind of wiggle oh lock back in pop right out Tip. pop this open and now what we gotta do is that's a plug and play so you can't mess it up it's male and female clicks in one way you can't put it the other way that's gonna get connected to the light here Make sure clicks in excessive. Okay, it looks like it pulled up enough. You can use a zip tie if you don't have a zip tie, you can use some electrical tape. Hold it in place. <laughs> and we'll connect the tail light back in. Push the tab in. Push this over here in the corner. Line up the two pins first. Even if you're doing an aftermarket tail lights, push the light up the pins first. And if you come down here. You want to make sure you don't have this gap. <laughs> make sure you don't have this gap because it won't go. Kind of like hold that spot and kind of like bring it down yeah. and push in. And then it should be like this. But make sure you guys hold that side. Don't let it go because then the pins will come out. <laughs> and, uh, and don't make the, the bolts too tight. Because if you do, you'll push this part in and that edge will pop out. So that's why it's best to use you're um you know just do it by hand pretty much so <laughs> but not going in why because it's just not lining up properly a little bit so just take it out try again and there we have it hand tight This way you don't damage it or push it in too forward. See, that's good enough. That's good enough. And to push the piece back in, you wanna line up the top part in first. Right behind this clip, this clip and that piece. <clears throat> push it right there. And the bottom one, you can put it right there. And once that's in, just kind of push in inwards like that and it should go in so you're good to go a lot of people have issues putting this back in so that's the trick push the seal back on 
And uh, then you can hit the brakes and we'll test it out. All right, that's done. There you go. So you guys got there, out. There's also I another mean, piece that goes here, he but he doesn't want it because he's doing a yo first piece. And the best thing to do with this setup is put quad tips. Hell yeah. So that's done. Sweet. That's it. They don't bite, they punch. So all right, so that's done. He wanted the sides as well, so we put it on for him. All you gotta do is slide in this bracket in and then line it up here for the, the side. And then there's three screws that goes in, so you can put three screws. They come with three screws already, the tiny ones. I highly recommend going to Home Depot and get a lot longer ones, like maybe inch at least, one inch screws, because the one that comes with are very small. So, yep, that's that, and this is how it looks. Uh, all right, that's it. I'll trade it for free. That's it, fam. Uh, peace out until next time. Make sure you guys uh, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, come to be notified of upcoming content.